Who's ready for the week to end? <laughs> well, yeah, uh, yesterday, whew, I, I complained about my Tuesday yesterday morning. Um, yeah, my yesterday, wow, wow, I had to cancel half my day because of how things spun out of control in the morning. So, I got myself a Dunkin', a Dunkin' coffee, and they have pumpkin already. Um, Actually, I had heard about it. Um, I follow them on Twitter and everything, and it came up. They were like, pumpkin has arrived. I was like, mmm. So that was one of my pick-me-ups. In the middle of the day, uh, after two of these difficult jobs um, that I canceled the rest of the day, there was a Dunkin' across the street. And I went in there, and typically, I, you know, I have black coffee. That's, that's how I like it, uh, the dark roast and... Um, don't like the dark roast black coffee out of Dunkin', so I flavor it up. And um, I like it with cream and a swirl, and the uh, pumpkin swirl is in. Don't ask for sugar too, otherwise, I couldn't even imagine what would happen to your teeth by the end of that cup. And oof, that'd just be way too sweet. Um, the other thing that picked me up yesterday, a lot of food. It's never a good thing, but oh well. Um, my family was at the shore, so. I, I, they were going to get back late, so I needed to get dinner too. And uh, Miley, they're a uh, sausage sandwich shop. A little slow. Um, and they have this Mexicano sausage sandwich that, oh, I love. I love it. And uh, it was about quarter of six, and I was afraid. Yep, six o'clock was closing. And uh, I placed the order. And the guy was like, we can make it for you. But we close at six. And I was like, dude, I am so sorry, but I will be there in two minutes and I thank you. And I busted it there, <laughs> walked in. I, they could just tell. It was like, this, this has got to be the dude. And um, I, I did. I just started saying thank you, thank you. I gave him, gave him some extra tip because they, they, yeah, I, I wouldn't have appreciated a phone call last minute, but they cranked it out and um, they got it for me. and. I, I told the guy, I was like, my day was crap. <laughs> and I was so looking forward to this. And he was like, well, man, you have a good night. And I was like, I will now. Thank you. And um, yeah, it, was, it was a good sandwich. Good, good sandwich. I ran number 231 of the 5K every day. Also, countdown to 15,000 words, trying to get my book. Definitely, there's going to be an increase. I'm hoping to... Tonight, tonight, see, I'm, I'm going to jujitsu this afternoon, which also means I cut my fingernails and toenails. Don't be that guy. But um, <laughs> I'm going to get back a little late and tired, and um, hopefully I can put in some more writing time and yeah, make that number for tomorrow big. The number for tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait for that. And Worcestershire sauce, for some reason, was there. Uh, today, on the treadmill, I was listening to uh, Chase Jarvis, this guy, and um, read his book, but uh, he's got podcast number 301, and uh, i to catch you, Chase. I know, it's not a podcast, but I'm going to catch him. But um, <laughs> he had on Mel Robbins, and uh, she has a TED Talk and a book. The five second rule and uh, it's pretty simple I mean it's basically you have an issue you have a problem you count down from five and go uh, kind of helps the um, the uh, crocodile brain in the back shift to the front <laughs> which helps you focus and then execute and get it done so uh, uh, one of the ones actually okay last month last month yeah cold showers I actually did it a couple times, and I remembered this podcast because number 301 is a repeat on Chase Jarvis. But um, I'd be in the corner of the cold shower and be like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. Five, four, three, two, one, boom, I jump in. And uh, another example that I had forgotten about, and it's a, it's a very good hack. When your alarm goes off in the morning, instead of reaching over and uh, snooze, you go, uh, five, four, three, two, one, and it helps you get out of bed. Simple as that. If you got a tough question for somebody, five, four, three, two, one, boom, throw it out there. 
Although they were joking. They were like, don't don't count out loud, otherwise you're gonna freak other people out. So you know, you got that girl in front of you and you're like, five, four, three, two, one. Will you go out with me? Why are you running away? <laughs> Hopefully you found that funny. Enjoy the now, people. Enjoy the now. But yeah, go um Chase Jarvis. Uh, over 300 podcasts and they are they are so good all of his stuff in fact I wonder if he should be a goat I'm trying to still figure out who's on my goat list let's see next possible goats David Goggins Mark Manson James Clear here we go Chase Jarvis put him on the next possibility we gotta figure it out we gotta fill in those last two before the end of the year Quote of the day. You destroy an enemy when you make a friend of him. Robert Greene. He writes books too. He's a good book writer. All right. Enjoy Friday Eve. <laughs> it's got to get better, right? It's going to get better. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Um, make good choices. I will see you tomorrow on. There it is. New Music Friday, tomorrow. Make it a good day.